Now let us start with the design problem on septic tank. So this question is to design a septic tank for 200 users. The water allowance is 120 liters per head per day. Detention period is given as 18 hours. You have to draw a neat dimension sketch of the septic tank after designing. So this is the question. So first we will design the septic tank. Then we will design the soffit. So first step is to design the septic tank. So first step is to find out the floor sewage per day. So per person it is given the question 120 liters per head per day. So for 200 users it is 200 into 120 that is 24,000 liters. If you want to convert it to meter cube divide by 1000. So you will be getting 24 meter cube. So we have obtained floor sewage per day. Now the second one detention period it is given in the question as 18 hours. If it is not given then you can assume a value 12 hours to 36 hours. Since it is given we have just written 18 hours. The third step is to find out the capacity of the tank. So capacity of the tank for the retention period of this 18 hours that is 24,000 divided by 24 into 18. So you will be getting 18,000 liters. So that is the tank capacity. And we are assuming that the tank is cleaned to be every year we are cleaning the tank. And the sludge storage capacity here it is assumed as 50 liters per person per year. If it is not given, we can assume a value between 15 to 30 liters per person per year. So here we are assuming as say 15 liters per person per year. So the next step is to find the quantity of sluts that is generated per year. So per person 15 liters. So for 200 person 200 into 15 3000 liters. So when you calculate the total tank capacity of the septic tank to this 18,000 that which I have already calculated. To that you have to add this 3000 liters that is for the uh, sludge deposition. Because sludge will be generating. So when it is done the sludge will be depositing at the bottom of the septic tank. So when you calculate the total capacity you have to find the quantity of sludge that is generated per year also. So total you will be getting as 21,000 liters. Now considering the future expansion, you are just giving some advanced uh, capacity, that is you are uh, giving some addition, you are adding some capacity considering this future. So you can say add say 25,000 liters, so which is equals to 25,000 divided by 1000, you will be getting 25 meter cube, that is the future expansion. Now while doing the problem theoretically, when you do the problem especially for the uh, university exams and all, if you are not considering the future expansion also no problem. So practically when you design a tank you have to consider the future. So in that sense you can just provide 25,000 or you can just uh, move on uh, doing the further calculation by using the 21,000 meters also. So here uh, we are just taking 25,000 meters considering this future. So you will be getting 25,000 meters which is equal to 25 meter cube. The depth of the tank it is not given the question. If it is not given you can assume a value from 1.2 to 1.8 meter. So here we are assuming as 1.7 meter. Therefore the plan area of the tank will be that total volume that is 25 meter cube divided by this depth 1.7. You will be getting 14.71 meter square and you can round it off as 15 meter square. That is the plan area of the tank. Now the length to width ratio if it is not given you can assume as length equals twice or thrice the width. So here we are assuming that length is equals 3 times that of the width. So L into B equals 15 meters square. So L equals 3B. So 3B into B equals 50 meters square. So you will be getting the value of B as 3 meter and the value of length as 9 meter. So the next step is to find out the total depth of the tank. So when you calculate the total depth of the tank, you have to that water depth, you have to add the freeboard also. So for the septic tank, normally you are providing a freeboard of 30 centimeter, which is equal to 0.3 meter. So total depth of the tank equals 1.7 plus 0.3, that is 2 meter. Hence you can provide the size of the tank as 9 by 3 by 2 meter size. That is 9 meter is the length, 3 meter is the width and 2 meter is the total depth of the tank. So this is the size of the septic tank. Now the last part is to design the soffit. So 
here you have to assume a percolating capacity of the filter media you can take it as 1250 liters per meter cube per day and the, find the volume of the soft pit so volume of the soft pit, soft pit means the total capacity of the tank that is 25,000 liters divided by 1250 that is the percolating capacity you will be getting 20,000 liters that divided by 1000 you will be getting 20 meter cube so that is the volume of the soft pit and depth of the soft pit you can assume that is here we are assuming a depth as 4 meter therefore the area of the soft pit will be volume divided by this depth 20 divided by 4 you will be getting 5 meter square therefore area equals that is 5 by 4 d square equals 5 so d you will be obtaining as 2.52 meter so normally you can round it off as 2.6 meter so this is the diameter of the soft pit and the question it is already asked you have to uh, draw a rough sketch of this septic tank and this soft pit and you mark the dimensions so here in this figure it is marked that you can see uh, the length and the width of the tank it is given 9 meter is the length 3 meter is the width you have to show and here 1.7 meter that is given that is uh, shown as the water depth and 0.3 meter that is the free board. so total depth of the tank is 2 meter 4 meter it is the and here you can see 2 meter it is the total depth 0.3 meter free board plus 1.7 meter that is the water depth 9 meter it is the length 3 meter is the width and the size of the soft pit the dia of the soft pit we have obtained as 2.6 meter that is also shown in this figure as 2.6 meter and 4 meter that is the depth of the soft pit so in this way you have to draw a figure and you have to mark all the dimensions